After the battle is over, after the battle is over, Yudhishthira is uh, met the king. They make a yaga called Ashwamedha yaga. You know all that Mahabharata story. Krishna will be still loitering there in Astinapura only. One day, Arjuna, just meaning maybe hardly one or two years after the battle, or not even that much. So one day, Arjuna and Krishna will be simply roaming around, like I was, how I was telling earlier, simply roaming around, going to this palace, that palace, sleeping, drinking, simply roaming around, both of them. At that time, Arjuna asks a question to Krishna. So casually, you know what he asks? He says, Ah, Krishna, on that day in the battlefield, when I was in depression, you told me something. <laughs> but the thing was, I was all restless because of the battle and I didn't hear properly. <laughs> really, he says, I am not making up my own stories. He says that and he says, can you tell me again? And Krishna is like, what nonsense. <laughs> He says, even I cannot repeat exactly the same way because I was in a yoga mood that time. <laughs> if you, it happens to everybody. If you ask me to repeat this lecture exactly like this, I cannot. Nobody can. Some concepts will go here and there, we will forget. Because we are doing free talking. This is not a prepared lecture or something. So Krishna's lecture was not a prepared lecture with bullet points. <laughs> Krishna himself doesn't know. What he spoke, after that he must have forgotten exactly what I spoke, he doesn't know. So and he asked Krishna, he is like, I don't remember myself, I don't know exactly what I told, I can't repeat, I didn't know that you are such an idiot. <laughs> but anyway, I will tell you some, really, this is there. <laughs> and then Krishna will say, okay, you are asking me, you are my best friend, you are my Sakha, I will tell you something. And that is called Anugita. It's there in Mahabharata. Please go and read. Uh, Anugita is also very large. It is 77, 80 chapters or something. Bhagavad Gita is very small. Bhagavad Gita is small, not because Krishna wanted to stop there, because Arjuna had enough. <laughs> like now, how you want the class to end desperately? Like that, uh, <laughs> like that, Arjuna had enough Bhagavad Gita to tell completely. Even if Arjuna Krishna had told all the shlokas, it will take just one and a half hours. If you speak, it will take one and a half hours, small conversation. So after one and a half hours, Arjuna had enough Bhagavad Gita. His Bhagavad, uh, Arjuna's distance MSC was over. <laughs> <laughs> Only that much, one and a half hour class. So Arjuna was fine. He says, okay, I am fine. Now I will back, I will... Now what you want to do? I will have to fight. Okay, I will fight. Don't speak more enough. <laughs> so it is highly possible that Arjuna finally didn't fight because he understood what Bhagavad Gita was. It is because he had enough. Okay, stop speaking. I will do whatever you say. I will do. So this you Arjuna nothing happened to Arjuna. So and then, <coughs> see this is the difference, this is one point I want to tell you. Vasishta is also a great man, I am not belittling him. Vasishta is a Rishi, researcher, he had researched on his own, come to so many conclusions. So a Rishi teaches a normal boy, the normal boy gets enlightened. An enlightened man teaches a normal person, nothing happens to the normal person. So what do you want, you decide. <laughs> See, everybody wants Krishna to see Krishna and to Krishna to come here and start teaching. If, if Krishna teaches, there is no guarantee that you will get enlightened. <laughs> see, only three people in Mahabharata, only three people heard Bhagavad Gita, directly or indirectly. First was Arjuna, second was Sanjaya, third was Dhritarashtra. None of them changed. Sanjaya, there is no proof or anything. Sanjaya was a normal messenger between two people. For sure, Dhritarashtra did not change even a bit. <laughs> Arjuna also did not change. This is evident if you read Mahabharata, it is very much evident. So, Sanjaya, we don't know. With that result, with that. <laughs> <laughs> Two results we know. Both they failed. So, that means when Krishna taught Bhagavad Gita, the first people who listened to it failed. Nothing happened to them. They heard and forgot that, sir. 
So whether an enlightened man is speaking to you or not doesn't matter. What matters is what is being spoken. Okay. If you are in a proper receptive mode, it doesn't matter to you who will teach, you will gather, you will get that information, you will churn it and you will convert it into gold within you. It doesn't matter who will teach you. Krishna doesn't have to come and teach you. Rama, Rama anyway didn't utter anything. Because nobody asked him anything. <laughs> Same thing would have happened with Krishna also. If, if Arjuna didn't ask and Uddhava didn't ask, Krishna's life also would have gone like Rama's only. Now doing nothing would have been Bhagavad Gita. So somebody asked and that became a great text, Bhagavad Gita. If somebody had asked something to Rama, you would have had another subject. <laughs> in your MS. So you should be thankful nobody asked anything to Rama. 700 shloka is good enough. So this main point which I wanted to convey today is this. You have to distinguish, the, see the contrast between Vishad and Vairagya. Now don't ask me, I don't have both, what should I do? <laughs> I can't do anything, sit and listen, that's all.